Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jeff. Today we're going to talk about wildlife in Hawaii. There's really two ways to break down um, the wildlife dynamic. You have land mammals and you have, uh, well, marine mammals or animals, marine fish also, which are not mammals. <laughs> the, then you also have um, endemic, indigenous, and then introduced. For those of you who don't know the difference between those three, I'll just give it. So endemic means they actually come from Hawaiian Islands. This is where they originated from, like the nene bird, the official state bird. The nene bird is an endemic animal, one of the few endemic land mammals to Hawaii, the nene bird. Then indigenous is when people brought it over many, many years ago, for example, with the animals, I don't know of many indigenous animals, actually, um, by definition. But for example, like a coconut, that's an indigenous uh, fruit, meaning that it was brought over by the Polynesians. It didn't originate here as an endemic plant species. But as far as indigenous, I guess you could say an indigenous marine mammal. <laughs> I mean, are they considering pigs, deer? No. So those are introduced. And let's just go over the list of land mammals that are introduced. More than anything, endemic or indigenous marine mammals such as dolphins, whales, sharks, Hawaiian monk seals, elephant seals, those are endemic to these islands. They've been here for a long time, in particular the monk seals are in the northwestern part of the islands, but they have come all the way over here to the, the Big Island. I've seen Hawaiian monk seals here on the Big Island. And I think we've seen them over in uh, Oahu, but as far as the land mammals, back to that, you've got the Indian uh, mongoose, the axis deer and mule deer, which was introduced from Hong Kong as a gift to King Kamehameha. Believe it or not, there's actually a feral wallaby on Oahu. I've never seen a wallaby. Those come from Australia or New Guinea, but supposedly there's wa um, feral wa uh, wallaby. If you don't know what a wallaby is, it's like a mini kangaroo. Like it's like it's almost like a min mix between a kangaroo and a koala. It's not quite as hoppy as a kangaroo, and it's not quite as docile as a leaf chewing ko ko koala. Now, as far as wildlife that has been introduced that is really apparent, I would say uh, hands down it's pigs. I mean anywhere you go on the big island that's got forests, you're gonna have pigs. Also another uh, a bird, you, you often it's not uncommon to see peacocks, particularly here in Kona you'll see a lot of peacocks, you'll see a lot of pheasants um, up in the high country. Down in the the lava fields and in the desert here in the low country in Kona you don't you, you'll see goats goats about all you'll see here on the big island on Maui you know you know it seems like Maui doesn't really have much land mammals I don't know why that is but probably cats feral cats you'll see a lot of feral cats even down here in Kailua Kona between the mongoose the cats and the and the goats you'll see those down here in the more in the rural areas as you go up the mountain you'll you'll stop seeing the goats and you'll see more birds more wild birds and pigs uh, on the Hamakua coast I definitely saw a lot of pigs like a lot of pigs there's a healthy pig population and people hunt them they keep hunting them and they just keep coming back in a way they're an invasive species on Oahu, they have deer. I'm not sure if they have pigs there. Um, I know for a fact Kauai has a lot of, uh, you know, they have pigs. Because the, hunt, the hunting culture in Kauai is alive and well, just like it is on the Big Island. Lanai has a lot of deer. Molokai has a lot of deer. So, those are some things to keep in mind. I would say, as far as kind of invasive species that are you know, wildlife, cats, cats, rats, mongoose, 
those have really kind of taken a stronghold on the uh, community of rodents. As far as like reptiles, one one wildlife, uh, one reptile that just stands out more than anything is the koki frog. I don't know how um, invasive the koki frog is on other islands, but I can say on the big island in the forest, the koki frog is alive and well. It's doing great. <laughs> You'll hear it in Hilo for sure. You'll hear it in Hamakua and Puna too, but. I'm sure, I know you'll hear it in Maui and like Hana, and I'm sure you'll hear it up in uh, the forest up in Oahu. I don't know how it's, obviously going from island to island, it's got to, you know, it's got to be introduced. Frogs don't cross the ocean. And I mean, there's, you know, there's bodies of water to sometimes 20, 30 miles separating each island. I mean, the Straits of Maui are like 15 miles long and or 15 miles apart and, you know, the, the the straits between Maui and Lanai or the straits between Maui and Molokai and Molokai and um, Oahu and then there's a big expansive body of water between Oahu and Kauai so how they get how they get around if they're land mammals I don't know other than just being introduced uh, forest forest birds there's a lot of forest birds there's there's a lot Birds, obviously, traveling between islands is a lot easier than it is for land mammals. Um, like I said, deer is, there's a lot of deer, so the, the hunting community enjoys a healthy population of deer on Lanai and uh, Molokai, for sure. Goats on the big island, people like to hunt goats, boars. There's a ton of pigs here on the big island, just a grip load. Hunters are always salivating over this uh, exciting Kailua pig, you know, pig roast. Like I said, there's goats. I mean, those goats are down here, definitely on the on the flats over in Kona. I mean, you'll you'll go to you go to Makalavena and you'll see goats. You will go north of Makalavena, you'll see goats. They're just in the in the desert area around North Kona. I've seen goats South Kona. You know, haven't really seen too much goats down there in Ocean View and around the South Point area. There's definitely a lot of cats down there. Maui, like I said, I mean, there's not much, there's not that much wildlife on Maui land mammals, okay? So if we go to the marine mammals now, we're looking at whales, those are seasonal, wild dolphins. Uh, they got bottlenose, they got spinner dolphins, there's um, pilot whales, we've, we've seen orcas here, uh, whale sharks, tiger sharks, uh, reef sharks, black tip reef, reef sharks, there's other types of sharks too, and then there's you know little puffer fishes, you, I've seen all types of different puffer fishes, parrot fish, tropical fish, uh, yeah, I mean there's lots of tropical fish in the ocean, I shouldn't say lots because Supposedly there's a lot less than there ever has been, but yeah. Then there's hammerheads over in Hilo. There's, um, we already talked about the Hawaiian monk seals, which are mostly over in Kauai. There's a small population. They're trying to reintroduce that. I haven't really ever seen any jellyfish. Um, I've seen some conchs, you know, those shell, those little shell, I guess you call them shellfish. They are on the bottom. I've seen people who've caught lobsters, squid, octopus. Um, most of it's fishing. Obviously, there's pelagic fishing, blue marlin, black marlin. I do know that there, there, there has been some overfishing. And blue marlin and black marlin populations are nowhere near as strong as they once were. Because um, people come from far and wide to, to fight these animals in a an hour long battle where they reel them in. So there's a lot of boats that have done that. I'm not, I don't have a problem with them, fishermen. I'm just saying that the fishing population is not as abundant as it once was because there is a lot of people fishing. Manta rays, that's fun. People enjoy doing the manta ray dive, you know. So as far as wildlife goes, the seabirds. 
There's 113 endemic species to Hawaii. That's a lot of endemic species to Hawaii for for uh, seabirds, rabbits, rodents. Those were introduced. They're on the verge of extinction though here on the islands. Thanks to cats, feral cats. You'll hear people always complaining about feral dogs, feral cats, but there's a lot more cats than there is anything else. And they uh, they bring deadly pathogens like uh, Toxoplasma gondii, which is released into the freshwater and marine environments of Hawaii, threatening the native species which have no immunity to this pathogen. So, I think there's like a native um, freshwater fish or an endemic, no, indigenous freshwater fish, I think it was introduced, maybe, I don't know. I know that's not a definitive answer, but there's like a shrimp that's supposed to be in the Hawaiian freshwaters. There's not many fish in the freshwater. They would mostly be brackish fish, fish that come into freshwater streams from the salt water. Pigs, goats, donkeys, sheep. Um, I've seen all those. There's not many sheep. I've seen peacocks. Like I said, pheasants. There are some parrots. I've seen parrots, wild parrots. That's that's good that we brought that up. I've seen wild parrots, and I was like, what wild parrots here in Kona, down by the Kona Sheraton? I mean, isn't that cool? Wild parrots. <laughs> those are obviously introduced. Um, this wallaby that's supposedly here on Oahu is kind of amazing. Like I said, a lot of people like to hunt for deer. Just going through the list, the Indian mongoose, I see those all the time right here in Kona. They're from India. There's a lot of them. Oh, turtles. Lots of turtles. Some green sea turtles. I've never seen a leatherback sea turtle. Supposedly there's some bats. You like bats? The hoary bat. They're endemic. So this bat species is endemic. And, uh, you know, the humpback whales, we've already talked about those. Those are like the, everyone gets excited about humpbacks. Supposedly there was a gray whale that washed ashore on North Shore Maui. So that would say there's gray whales out here. I'm sure there's other whale populations, you know, and sometimes great white sharks. They say that about 30 miles south of the Big Island, there's a breeding area for great whites. You don't usually see them on the shorelines, and most of the shark encounters with humans or attacks would be with tigers, tiger sharks. Although, sometimes there is, you know, other shark species that... You know, if it, not all shark attacks are determined uh, conclusively to be from one species. For example, we have makos, but makos aren't known to attack. There is no bull sharks here. You know, there's no snakes. You can walk through the forest mostly without having to get any issues. I have had a friend who got bit by a brown recluse, but and there are big spiders. You'll be walking and boom, face will get you know a, a big spider web across your face but and I've even had a big spider like walk I've, I've walked and had a big spider land on me and I was like what that was crazy that's a big spider and come to find out it's not a poisonous or dangerous spider but like I said I had a buddy who did get bit by a brown recluse and that was hell for him here in Kau down by a volcano so um yeah, there's no real land predators, and the marine predators are sharks, right? But those are docile creatures. The only time there's ever an issue with sharks is if it's murky water. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment, or subscribe to the channel if you would like to hear more updates.